In this video, we bring you a champion's breakdown and advanced West Coast swing pattern from Ben Morris and Melissa Roots. What's up, gang? Brian B. And Miss Megan. From West Coast Swing Online, we are bringing you a champion's breakdown. This was back in 2015. Uh, ben Morris and Melissa Roots pulled this sweet move off, and you're looking at it right now. Cool, so let's go ahead and show this to you and then we will break it down. It starts from a non-traditional uh, leader's right, follower's left hand hold and it looks like this. One, two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and 10 to a little accent move into whatever he does next. Cool beans, let's look at it from the other side one time real quick and then we'll break it down. So this goes oh, one, two, Three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten, to a little accent, and then he goes into some craziness, but let's leave it at that. So, from the good side, this is, uh, starts from leader's right to follower's left. It starts with one, two, one, two for an inside turn. If I was just leading a free spin, that's the pattern, that's the base pattern that we're working off of, right? So, leaders are coming out of the slots to my right. We have one, Two. This is going to go over Megan's head for three and four. Three and four, and I'm going to put this behind my head. This is a little bit of a fakey fake, and it's what makes this look cool. So we do that one more time from this side. We have a one, two, three, and four. From here, we are going to lead a rock and go. So I'm going to take my footwork out of it for a second. I need to lead this rock and go for Megan so she can spin down the slot, right? So let's look at that one more time from this side. Sorry, there, Ms. Megan. We have one, two, three, and four. Now as I go across for five and six, five and six to miss, take Miss Megan down the slot, and we free spin right there. But let's talk about that rock and go. Miss Megan, what are you feeling at the end of this? So right here, as uh, the leader takes this arm up and over, it's going to slightly curve me back, and then as he goes through, it's gonna pull me forward a little bit, and then into the turn. So followers, generally speaking, if this was a basic uh, pattern, an inside turn, one, two, three, and oops, I lied. Let's try that again. If this was an inside turn that we let and followed correctly, one, two, three, and four. I know what Miss Megan, she was thinking free spin. We would be connected here to anchor. And it's this connection going into the anchor that allows me to lead the rock and go, right? So we get through here, one, two, three three and four. Right here there's still connection. You can see our body weights are still slightly connected away at this moment. So that means as I take this over my head, because the arm is heading out, I'm sending Miss Megan back into a rock and go. Rock and go. From here I need to make sure I lead her down the line on count six. From here Ben hooks around to his left for triple step and then we end up with an anchor step. So if we look at that from this side, this is very leadable, very cool. Leaders right, to followers left. One, two, three, and four. There's a checkpoint. This is behind my head. I don't have to have it behind my head, but it makes it look cooler. We go over for the rock and go for five and six. We still have connection in that arm. From here, I could lead a free spin right from there. However, Ben turns around behind his back, triple step from here. He's following this momentum, triple step anchor step. When you see in the video, he adds a little extra footwork, but we like to teach things in the most fundamental way. And then once you know the rules, you can break them. So from this side, and we'll do the next little part too, we have one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, anchor step. Then they have this cool stop pattern, which can turn into an anchor step. So let's cover that real quick. The stop pattern is basically just like a whip. This is great for musical accent, right? So in the music, they dance this seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six. So we're gonna count it in straight eights. If that's confusing to you, um, down below there is an ebook, West Coast Swing ebook. Go to the musicality section, straight eights. We've got a video that will explain that. So if we're using this as a musical accent, seven, eight, oh, one, hold two, and then we can turn around anchor three and four, cool? And he does that a bunch of different ways in the video. We're just gonna do one of them. So again, we have seven, eight, an accent and anchor step. So if we do the whole thing from the top, it looks like this. One, two, three, and four. We have our rock and go. Five and six, we turn. Seven and eight, anchor step. We have walk, walk, and accent with a hold and an anchor step. 
So if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That's the red button in the bottom right. If you have yet to head to West Coast Swing Online, you can head over there, get a free membership, 25 videos for free. You can even try everything on the site for free for seven days. Uh, we also have a West Coast Swing ebook. You can download that for free in the description below. And here on the channel, we upload three videos a week. We've got West Coast Swing videos. We have country dance videos, two-step, nightclub, cha-cha, and the like as well as, what else am I forgetting? Frustration Fridays. Frustration Fridays. So every Friday we upload a helpful tip for a frustrating part of West Coast Swing. Uh, if you guys have any questions, shoot us a comment below and we will get a video made for you. Thanks for the support gang and we'll see you on a dance floor soon.